Hello everyone. I'm here to give you a brief introduction to the use of GoGuardian in your classroom. Now I've already imported my classrooms from Google using the import button on the right here. So all of my students are currently in their respective classrooms. I'm going to click on Algebra 2 second period here and start a session. You'll notice that I have recorded a session on August 31st for 38 minutes. This list will get longer as the year progresses. I have my classes set to a 45 minute timer so it doesn't keep recording their screen as they move to another class. Okay, so starting a session you will see their screens loading. There are four tabs at the upper left. You will mostly stay here in the screens tab during your session. Any screenshots you take from student screens will be placed in the screenshot tab. The timelines tab is useful for me after class and we'll get to that later. Everyone so far seems to be on task. They are currently working on a marble slide activity with linear functions. There are options here at the three dot tab to lock a student's computer, open a tab, and exclude the student from the session. This option allows me to start a chat with a student and send a message, but as Abby is three feet in front of me, I will probably just speak to her directly. If we need to see more detail on their screens, we can adjust the scale factor here. Next, we can apply a scene to the session. This is of immense value, as you can have students in just Schoology. If you are using Edpuzzles, you can have them just in YouTube. Or you can apply a scene where you say YouTube is completely blocked, and everything else inside the district's filters are potentially available for students to browse. We will look at timelines and how to create those scenes later. I can turn on a class-wide chat session. Now all students are gasping, wondering what is happening to their screens. After messing with them for a few moments, I will shut it off. There is another wonderful feature of GoGuardian, Off-Task Alert. You can go into Settings and tell GoGuardian what subject students are currently in. And when a student wanders away from that, from a topical site, teachers will be alerted on screen. This is great when students are encouraged to do some investigating with rather open guidelines, but keeps them on topic. Here, since students are using Desmos, a math related site is appropriate. I can modify how many seconds they are allowed to wander before I get the alert, which also gets recorded in the session recordings as well. Next, we will look at the tabs students have opened on their Chromebook browser. Here, this student, who will remain anonymous, has three tabs open. These are just PowerSchool tabs, one of which is just attendance. When I click on the tab, I can close it with the red button here. The student will see their tab close and then lean back in awe at the power that the teachers can weld. This student has a new tab. Sophia here is using Google Translate for assistance. Click on the big red button on the upper left for ending the session, and we are good to go. The session will be recorded, and we will take a look at that in a moment. We're going to take a look at recorded sessions and see the information we can glean from them. So I click on Class, and I see that there's a date for August 31st. Here we're at the class timeline, and your screen will be set to a zoom level that you might want to change. You can hone in on activity that looks well active. Here you can see Elijah Gooden has been quite busy. My guess is that he is switching back and forth between tabs to get familiar with the sites I was talking about the second day of school, namely Star Math, Savas, School G, and Google Classroom. I can change the zoom levels to get a look at what he was looking at when his tabs are open. I can click on the zoom buttons and use the pan hand to look closer. I can also look at any student I would like, uh, like to, especially if I see lots of browser tab switching. So student reports are also available and I can look at the student date and time range and get a visual of the activity during that time frame. And scrolling. I can see a more detailed account. Yep, same sites. So he gets a clean bill of health.
Finally, we're going to look at scheduling sessions. Clicking on a classroom, I will go to settings and click on this middle tab, scheduling. You can see here that I have arranged to have GoGuardian automatically start sessions during student scheduled class time. Often, I have forgotten to start a session and needed to check if students had been on task later. This feature takes care of that. Even if students are not using their Chromebooks at the time, GoGuardian will open the session anyway. This also helps for when you would like to have students use Chromebooks with a substitute. Student activity will be recorded during your absence, and I can go and review the timeline for each individual class at any time. Hope this helps as an intro to GoGuardian. Feel free to email me any questions you might have. Have a great day.